impossible because the, it's stunningly impossible though. But, but Jim point and Tony has said it as well, to some extent, I mean, I think the, the reason why this appeals to us is that at some subconscious level, this is obvious. Um, you know, when the glimpse here, it was obvious. It was like, um, how could I, uh, how, could, how could this not have been seen? It's so obvious, it's always here. How could it, duh. That was the... Because the not seeing so is it though. The not seeing it is, is it, and the seeing it is it. And the, I mean, but yep. it's never any good for um, the, the seeking loop to hear that it's also... Like, what do you think this um, is? Well, I'm a sci I, I have a passion for science, and I came at this initially from a scientific point of view. So I did a lot of research on neuroscience, and neuroscientists are now saying there is no self. There is yeah. nothing that is you. There's no place in the brain or the body that can be identified as you. There's not some group of neurons that gives okay. rise to the consciousness, to self-consciousness. So all of that is just uh, it doesn't exist it's a const it's a construct in the brain that's the way the scientist would put it that the self the idea of a separate you something that sees something than just everything as one is a construct in your brain and it probably arose as a as the, as an attempt to achieve some kind of evolutionary advantage um, so, you know, the brain, the brain essentially is a pattern making machine and, uh, it creates models. And at some point or other, the brain got large enough to actually devise a model that had this like little character that was you in it. And that creation of that very sophisticated model actually was an evolutionary in advance so it has continued but the problem is that we're told from very early childhood that there is a you that that model is reality and you better get used to that because we're going to hold you responsible so good boy bad boy um, and so that behavior is reinforced, that belief in this model as being reality. I remember being a very young child and looking at adults and saying, who the fuck did they think they're kidding? When, they gonna, when are they going to stop playing this adult role and just acknowledge that they don't have a fucking idea of what's going on in the world any more than I do? Um, but that's the I case then. So that, that's fucking... It, that's the case, though. Everywhere. Everybody is telling stories. Like, even liberation yeah. is a story. So even the loss of self. And this, what, what you get is what's happening. And you don't get to get it. Right. You don't get to get it. What you, so what is, is what is. But nobody gets that. But that's not like there, a, a, a nobody that's somebody who is a nobody gets to get it. It's nobody gets to get it. You get what, right. what you get is life, but you don't get to get it. Life ing. Yep. yep. But the um, but you see what you said though is why are the adults pretending? Yeah. But uh, everybody, you're pretending now, like. Of course. You're pretending uh, that you're pretending because you've heard there's something called liberation in a place called uh, peace and bliss and a glimpse. <laughs> I think you're pretending still yeah, that there is absolutely. something to get. Yeah. But but I, I have no choice. I mean, I have no choice or control over what I do. Fucking this bang is, on. I have no this, choice or control what I do. <laughs> this is this is a completely conditioned combination of conditioning by my genetics and by my culture. And you know, there's no control or choice over. There's no responsibility. That was what was liberating to me intellectually. 
about this realization that there is no self that has control. And I, I got that before I heard it from Tony and Jim from the study of neuroscience. I also was at the same time I was studying astrophysics and quantum theory um, because what they're saying now in those sciences is there is no time. The idea of time, you know, is just a construct. And if you take time out of all of the scientific equations, all of a sudden those equations become much simpler and much more um, consistent in terms of description of what is. And what really I love to hear astrophysicists say, you know, it's very unsatisfactory to the scientist, but the best explanation that I have heard, and this is astrophysicists talking about this, um, leading edge science is things just are the way they appear to be. And he says, I say that, that as a scientist, that's the best explanation you can have about what it is. So he is mathematical models and very advanced science. And he has said, that's what's happening. Everything is just the way it is. There's no space or time. I have a question for you. Yeah, uh, just to add what, you, what you're saying there, to me, like every single bit of that, I mean, somehow in this um, thing that appears to be happening, um, what, how we seem to communicate is through words, and words are supposed to be things. So there's a thing called an astrophysicist, or there's a speaker called Jim Newman, and they are things in this, and astrophysicists explain what these things are. I think it's before, 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 all we obviously have is language, but not, not a word is, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, not a word, not a single word, gets close. The moment you open your mouth, the story begins. And yep. it's more the bit of a shock about somehow words are coming out. So then there's somebody like Frank uh, apparently saying that words don't mean anything or that's what just seems to be, <laughs> I seem to be saying. But they're yep. absolutely, there's the kind of a, an underlying wow to the fact that there's talking at all, that there's, and that even talking is the beginning of a story. So this is, this is apparently talking. This is, so on. we're all happy enough that this is talking. This is what yeah. we call it. And then it still doesn't even get close to the fact that this is mind blown. Like there's a part right. of all this that is utterly mind blown. And not a part of it, as far as I'm concerned, all of it's utterly mind, beyond thinking, beyond any sounds that... Uh, I'm saying, beyond, and any thoughts that I have about this, beyond, 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 fucking, I, I, I just haven't a clue. So, uh, uh, a neuroscientist come to me, or an astrophysicist say this, that this is what it appears to be, and I'd probably go, okay, but you still, we still have to, uh, do we have to, <laughs> okay, this is what it appears to be. And this is what yep. it appears to be. You could tell the story that what, how this is, is uh, utterly and shiny, sparkly, uh, brand new, always. Yep. But that's not noble, just constantly refreshing. Right. Because even that is a load of bullshit. So you could, you could come yes. out with the most, the most wondrous statements and still, it's still just this though. <laughs> yep. And yep. it's still just an ex uh, experiencing, I don't know, Tom. I've gone on too much now. No, I think I think that's absolutely true. But it it's fun. It's fun to me. I mean, I'm just putting in time. Um, it's fun to me when the stories start to look as if they're trying to describe. They don't describe what is, but it the resonance between what actually is and the stories of scientists, which used to be antithetical, they would be opposite. And now they seem to be getting closer and closer to saying the same thing. I just think that's fun. It's They're not saying yeah. the same thing. It's interesting and it's fun. And I, I just, I, I love playing with ideas. And, you know, a lot of people find that really boring. Um, 
they don't find it quite as boring as talking about non-duality. I just, I can't remember who it was on your show who said, uh, it might've been Michael who said, you know, the sad thing about this is we'd love to talk about this with the people who we're intimate with, who are family and friends, but we can't. Um, because they're just, you know, they don't, not only do they not get this, they aren't even interested in it. It's like we might as well be speaking a foreign language talking. Yeah, there is, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be the case that uh, I think I was talking to somebody there at the weekend and they just uh, uh, had a few beers in me and I think I was saying something and it was kind of utterly rejected, like, as... Yeah. I mean, there's no, I don't give a fuck, though. I mean, I'm not really saying anything, so, but it's more the shock. This is a shock. Life is a shock, a wondrous fucking shock of being alive, maybe, would you say, of, of something appearing to happen. It's a bit of a shock. Mm-hmm. And there doesn't seem to be an openness on the vast majority to um, want to talk about that talking is happening. Isn't yeah. this a bit mad? Woohoo! <laughs> it doesn't seem to be it seems to be a rare sort of a bit of a conversation you know i i have a girlfriend who says oh yeah go ahead dave it's it's nice to see that you're on your spiritual journey and mm. i just i just lose it i say this has nothing to do with spirituality yeah you know this is um something so far beyond that that there are no words to describe it and, and she just nods and says, yeah, okay, well, you know, let me know if you ever, she says, I'm not really interested in talking about your spiritual journey because it's not mine and we all have our own. I, she just, you know. But and yeah, it's it, that as well. It's already that though oh, too. Of course, yeah. yeah. It's already everything like, there's nothing is denied and nothing, yeah. you know, there's nothing apart. So as much as it's nuts, then it's everything. That's kind of, for the mind, it's no, it has to be the good bit because that's what I heard about. It's only the good bit. It's only the bliss. It's not everything. It's only the lovely and the love. It's not everything. Can I ask you a question about um, your conversations with Jim and with Tim particularly? Yeah. They have both talked about the fact that when it happened, appeared to happen of course it didn't really actually happen Um, that for both Jim and Tim this was an agonizing process it was horrible awful difficult challenging you know mind-blowing and Tim even said it went on for weeks perhaps months Um, and that intrigues me what's because both in Jim, I've talked to, with Jim a fair, a fair length, and he says the same thing. He said it was like incredibly awful when it happened to him. But you don't see any signs of that. It, but they don't seem to want to talk about that. What's, what's up with that? Well, um, I can only respond to what... Um, um, to me, it's a case of that um, when all of this is real and you're a real person and you live in a world, an actual, this is, this is the world and up there is the moon and that's definitely the sky and uh, this is years and time and this definitely is real and everything is real and my family is real and my friends are real and the people, I mean, everything is real and there are things apart. When when actually this properly is heard, it shatters worlds. It shatters the belief systems because, but you see, the brain will go, that's pretty cool. I like the sound of all of that, but it's, it's an existential fear that everything is gone. And then the mind will go, that's pretty cool, everything's gone. When everything is gone and there's nothing left, um, and it's utter end game. There is uh, uh, the, the shock of this is not a real world. 
I'm not in a real, this is not a real, it's the real kind of, I suppose that's why they call it sort of awakening, but it's yeah. because it's, is it awakening is the wrong word, but because, but this, uh, this, if it's really, really, really hard that this, um, that there is nobody doing anything, if it's, I think it can appear, you, you have nothing left then. Mm -hmm. Don't have your safe ground of a world. It's basically the fucking the puppet is the strings have been cut off the puppet like, and the puppet still keeps going. And the but you've no safe ground anymore. You know what I mean? That's I think the terrifying thing is there isn't a world. Um, ben, you know there isn't a, there isn't a world. Then why <laughs> is it that for Tony and Claire and for some others? There was none of that terror. There was none of that horrible, you can't call it a transition because it wasn't a transition. But the way Tony describes it, it was just like all of a sudden it was seen. And it was simple and it's, it wasn't bliss. It was just, well, oh, oh, okay, yes, that's obvious. Uh, um, yeah, so I can't, uh, you see, in a way it's kind of, I can understand where you're coming from. I think while you're asking is try to categorize and figure out well, why is it one way and versus another way and and where, where how do you where do you end with that that particular um you know wh why is it one way versus another? It's impossible to know unless you sit down with Tony and say, Tony, um when this was finally over, was there a bit of terror in the whole thing? When, uh, I mean, I've heard other people describe no, nothing existential. Somebody else say, that Robin would say, when he looked up and saw the bird flying away, there he flew um, away at the same time. And But I, I mean, even for, uh, I, I have no idea what, if you want to go into the story of all of that. The end everything becomes, it still moves away, it's still entering into a story, like every fucking tiny thing yeah. becomes yeah. a story. And where do you begin? At what point do you want to begin for the mind? Like, I, I love this is, you know, when the mind wants to hear the story of becoming, they'll, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll stick to the seeking part. And then at best, they might go back to the childhood. And then at best, they'll go to the, but they won't go before that. If they really, really, if the brain really, really wants to, get to this knowing point of really trying to get to the bottom. At what point is the brain going to stop? Does it stop with the parents and then the grandparents and then the great grandparents? And then before, 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 when does the brain stop? Because it's, it's impossible, you know? And there's this idea of giving in. At what point do you give in and accept? There isn't a giving in or an accepting because there's, this is endless. This is already endless, eternity. And endless makes it sound like a thing. <laughs> so you can't win. But do you know what I mean by that? Like, it's, it's impossible. Yep. Like, say, for example, that somehow uh, there, this could be a thing. This could be a thing that could be known. And it could unravel in a certain way. Well, imagine something being confi confined by... Um, language or bound by language and words it'd be utterly boring wouldn't it like an astrophysicist <laughs> giving you a, a, a 20 foot paper you know and as you're reading the 20 reams of paper of what this is you at the corner of your eye you're seeing this kid walking around with a bucket on their head banging against the wall and they're banging up against the wall again and we're going somehow at the end of this fucking thing it must be known and that's the, the mind is the eater of knowing and it seems to just oh, I'm in the, 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 I'm feeding in and it must be here and it must be I don't know it's amazing yep. insatiable the, it, there's much to do about yep. everything and nothing yeah I, and I'm a it, I'm intellectually clear that it does none of it matters, and it's all words. It's all a story, but nevertheless, it's it's fun. I just I, uh, I just well, have we seem to be talking about it anyway. Yeah, do seem to be talking about it. 
I can't not. I have no control over what I am interested in. Mm. And that's something that I'm interested in. And, you know, I, in that blog article that I sent you, I kind of reduced it to two paragraphs. And you kind of think that would be the end of it. You know, okay, so you've got this theory. And it's just a theory. It's just a story. It's bullshit. Um, so having laid that out in two paragraphs, why the hell am I still interested in this? I, I don't know. I have no control. You and I are just, we're interested in this and we don't have any control over it. And we love to talk about it and love to talk about others. And thank goodness, because, you know, I just, I just eat this stuff up when I go through all your, all your uh, conversations with all of these people who are coming at the way they're describing it is so different and yet you know they're talking about the same thing it's absolutely fascinating i just i could watch it for hours when i watched the four hours of you with uh with michael you know kind of basically going around in circles but having a good time with it mm. i just kind of said i could watch this for 40 hours it's just like yeah. endlessly entertaining so yeah fun. <laughs> I think there could be something in that kind of freedom of, um, uh, well, it was good to have a chat. I think it was just somehow you spark up that bit of a connection or I don't know, it just seems to yeah. look or whatever. It seems to be, uh, um, um, yeah, it's mad really because um, this is it like so. It's not like an intellectually known, this is it. It's, um, yep. uh, mm. I just keep kind of hoping every time I watch you talking with one of these people, I keep coming, kind of hoping that you're going to end up more relaxed and happier. <laughs> or your appearance is going to be that way. It seems like this is, to some extent, eating you up. Mm. Um, whereas, you know, see, it's, it's a strange thing to say that this has ended. Like that has ended. That seems to be what I'm saying at the moment. That this, that uh, the seeking has ended. That this is over. Yeah. So maybe this is what Jim and Tim are talking about with this period where it you just it just has to settle down. Um, and this, well, and this, what, I, what, I, what I'm seen to be saying is that this is end game, but I don't know if I don't know if that's the same as what anybody else is talking about. I, 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 all I, I seem to be saying is that okay, well, what they're saying is what's been, they're saying, and what's you know, it doesn't really um, have any. Um, see, I kind of used to, I know where you come from. I used to believe that somebody knew things, and this was something to talk about. And really, there isn't. Uh, non-duality there isn't um there isn't any kind of a, a as far as i'm concerned this idea of self and spirituality and a place to get to and all that just seems to have totally and utterly evaporated and um what's left is what what's left is what's left what's left is what's talking and are the sounds and the, exactly where all was is wonderfully <laughs> and stunningly is always here we always are you know what i mean and in this it appears like seeking might be happening or appears like i'm saying that 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 has stopped i can't say the self has dropped away because as far as i'm concerned that's a story i can't make a claim that um there is such a thing as peace or bliss or whatever but there is a kind of a seeing through the not seriousness of anything even if it's apparently serious even if it's apparently it's whatever it is like so if i was if i had found something then i would be here fucking lapping it up and saying "Woo, i have found something what i have found is what I'm saying uh, that I haven't, I, you know, it's not a finding. It's just words being said. Like it's just sounds and mystery and fucking drinking water and chatting to Dave and um, 
And it's not that it's, I mean, it's totally unsatisfactory always. And it always was unsatisfactory for mind, for thinking process, for, for Frank that likes to fucking get shit. Like, what do you mean? It's just, it's not even just what's happening because that's a story again. So mm -hmm. I, I can't say things like, I can't say the words, there was a self and then who was seeking and then suddenly that's, that self dropped away. And now there's liberation and enlightenment and peace and, <laughs> oh, darn. and all of all, all I can say is there what is what <laughs> it, 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 what is and what's that is oh, oh that's what you get there like you got you get what is what do you mean you get what is you get what is and you don't get to get it even so it's this always including inclusive mystery that's constantly talking sounding like it's when there's somebody, it appears like somebody knows something. When there's no one, there's just sounds and exchanges and, um, you know, words colliding, sounds colliding, and that's all. Or so sounds mixing in amongst itself. And even that is a story. And it's so satisfying to say, well, it's just a story. But that, it, that's wonder too. So that's... Yeah, I mean, I, I think I would have loved to have been able to turn around at one point and go, whoa, yeah, fuck it there, like. But like I said to you in an email, I'd have had something up and I'd have had, uh, I, Frank McGuire, would have had a website up with a buy and click and a book <laughs> written in, uh, and anybody who knows me, uh, I mean, would know, I'd have that, I would have, if I, Frank, would have had that up in 15 minutes if I, yeah. Frank, had acquired something. So, Did you have a name for the book? Well, I didn't have a fucking name for any book, but I know that it all was this idea of arriving, this, yeah. uh, this idea of arriving. You know, it was always, I mean, it's not verifiable. Nothing's verifiable. I mean, somebody could say, Frank, you still have a bit to go yet. And I go, okay, woo! <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, you know, if I was turn around to you, Dave, and say, you know what, Dave, you keep going there, you're, you're pretty close. I mean, that would be insane Bullshit. as far as I'm concerned. It was, it's insane yeah. because it's the, already the sounds. It's already yep. what's happening. And it can't be yep. known. Oh, yep. oh, sorry. Shit message. Shit fucking crappy, message. Crappy story. Crappy, yeah. I've, I've never, yeah. It'll never could you, sell. I mean, could, you, could you try something a little closer to Tony's story? Because Tony's story is a lot more like, it's marketable. <laughs> Tony's got a bit of juice in there, but still, Tony. I mean, I, I mean, if you really hear Tony's, if you, if you, what happens is, is, what happens is, um, the first opening line is skipped, and we get into the questions and answers. But the opening line is always skipped, so he kind of just goes at the start. I don't know. He doesn't say this is it, but he says, so he says. This is, oh, what the f he said so, whatever, and it's kind of a reference to here we are swimming in, on. let's just say, here we are swimming in unknowing. Swimming yep. in fucking unknown, and in that unknowing, apparently talking seems to be happening. And then he goes, let's go and try and share and have a chat about this. And then the stories begin, and even that's the story we started off with. But the whole thing becomes that, you know what I mean? It becomes, um, and but the mind, to, I, I always ignored the headline. I, I always ignored the first sentence, totally oh. and utterly. I got to the, I wanted the juice. I wanted to the, get to the liberation part. Tell me about the liberation. Tell oh. me about the good stuff. Tell me about that juicy frisson of life. And, this is this though but I, I, I don't have it <laughs> it's this but I don't have it and it's not even it's not even that again I, you could maybe you could sing maybe and maybe that could strike a, 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 a chord but then everywhere you go and whatever you say and whatever you do is 
there's this happening appearing is that like so you see it is useless like that's why i mean fucking frank the entrepreneur businessman <laughs> never going to be anything else but a really sad apart from um you know he's always going to be echoing in silence about or echoing to no one about nothing because it, oh that might be closer and that makes it seem obtuse then when you say, oh God, well, it must be something phenomenal then. It must be something outrageous. If it can't be put into words, then it's something beyond the words, something amazing. And the brain will go, oh yeah, it's something amazing. It's beyond the words. And, you know, it includes the words and the sounds. And then every last, the discomfort, the pain, the sorrow, the laughter, the love, and all the words that apparently are given to that seem to confine and bind and bound everything that appears to be happening. Every single word becomes a separate thing. What the fuck do you do? Everything is objectified. I'm here, the world's out there, and it's on and on and on. Doesn't matter either, just, but then it becomes futile and you look fucking, it's impossible, impossible, impossible. Like, I mean, that, uh, I had the number one seeking mind out there. Still have fucking a mind that carries on like that, apparently. And um, well, it's very entertaining. So <laughs> here we, here we are. Always yep. free, always empty, always full. Yep. Uh, yeah, it is dissatisfying. <laughs> it's been a crack, though. <laughs> Yeah, well, I hope it keeps going. I I keep wondering whether one day there'll just be like a message on your on your site that says, "Okay, it's seen now. There's no point in my talking about it any further. It's been nice. Thank you." Yeah. Um, Find it hard to say the words. It has been seen because I know what that and means to a right a thing that is looking for something. They will say, oh, you've got it now. And I go, nah, I don't have it now. So right. I can't say then it has been seen. And for whatever reason, because the brain, I don't like the idea that somebody will go and say, okay, look, he's done all this podcast and he's finally got there. There's an awful lot of baggage about that. And I just don't seem to want to um, entertain that idea. Or I feel you're not I'm responsible gonna... for that. I just don't like the it's idea of it, though. I know, and but sure, look, I'm having a chat with you, and but um, I, I'm not responsible. But it kind of feeds the game, so I don't know how to. Um, man, I was looking for this thing, and I thought it was a thing to get. And then when you see that that was all being done, <laughs> and every inch has been done by, and you, and you can't say by someone or something, and you can't. Do anything with it. I, um... Well, if if you suddenly stop podcasting, I will understand. Yeah, it's very clear. Well, you see, I can't. I, I, it depends. I, I don't seem to have. Um... You have no choice. Yeah, I know. I, I, I can only describe the scenario of um, where, well, it'll happen or it won't happen or it'll stop. I, I get the feeling that, uh, oh, what I'm, you know, there's the monetary thing at the moment and I'm keeping it on Patreon and there's a bit of some thoughts about that, whether that's the right thing or not, or whether you put it all out for free and just fucking maybe, you know what I mean? Um, and then, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of crack as well. It depends, like, I mean, you see, the, the, the wonder of the podcast thing is that you get to have conversations like this. So that's kind of, kind of lovely that there's kind of a, you can, you have those kind of chats, you know, to kind of break the, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's nice the word, it's a kind of a, well, it's what is as well, like, <laughs> you know, it's a kind of a what is as well, but 
I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they're they're either like for me, they're fun. I just I just when I'm watching your podcast, I'm just smiling all the time. Yeah. Um, and for you, I think they may be for the character, not for you because there's no you and there's no me. But for the character, the appearance of the character of Frank, there seems to be a certain degree of catharsis in these conversations. Um, something working its way through you, through these conversations. And that's fascinating as well. It's like, this is, to me, I don't watch movies or plays very often anymore just because I find them kind of boring. They're manipulative, but mm -hmm. I can watch your podcasts all day, all day and all night long because this is real theater. This is, this is, um, this is what's happening, mm -hmm. and I just, I just find it endlessly fascinating. So, I hope you keep doing them. But if you don't, I, then that's what's happening too, and that's fine. Yeah, we we'll see. It's pretty. It's nice that. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's kind of cool though. Sometimes it's kind of cool. I mean, I actually really enjoy the process of the conversation, and then it's kind of oh, do I should I put that out there now? Oh, okay. That you know, I have to put it on the internet and do the do, oh, and I have to go and put spend a little bit of time. I don't really have to do that, but you know, putting it out and editing it. But I mean, I remember, uh, as Kenneth said to me at one point, well, you know, um, other people might just enjoy this sort of banter, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, Another and, and, and <laughs> that was true. I mean, the funny thing is, I think, uh, in that, you know, now that we, we've chatted for a while, I think it's interesting, like, is when there's here, when there's here, there's there. When there isn't here, there isn't, there's not there, and there just is. And I think that's kind of, and that's always the case anyway. But when, when there's something here, then there's things out there. I can see now the language, why it's used in a certain way. When that's, yeah, I mean, when that's gone, when there isn't a thing, then there, there you know, there isn't things in the world carrying on and there is in separate things. So when here is gone, there is removed. When I'm gone, there is no other, obviously. It's, I can see why the words are used now. I can see, uh, uh, yeah, it's funny. The words, there's a reason there's a, uh, that there's one where, because the story just loops and loops and loops. We go into multiplicity of a gazillion, wondrous, stunning, stories but in the end when there is no one there's no world there's no there's no one there which there already is no one there then there's no one here and it's the, the game the stories everything just kind of collapse in on themselves maybe that's maybe yeah there's a reason why words are used like that i can see yeah it's funny yep mm. Uh, are you going to do part two with Tim? He needs to get better fucking internet. That's what he needs to get. <laughs> he needs yeah. to get better internet because we tried to do it another time. And then I was nearly going over to him and this kind of end game, let's say it happened. And I just thought, oh, I'm not going over. I don't know no desire to go over and ask questions. Be a questionnaire, you know, be, be, it just didn't feel like that was, was going to happen, that I was going to go and ask questions of Tim. Because it just didn't, what, what, what question? What, what is the question? What, 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 is, what is the question? What is the, what is the question? <laughs> um, <clears throat> so then, but we chatted on the phone and then we were talking about, but yeah, he, he needs to get better internet. So if you're talking to Tim, Tim to get better internet, we might right. have a we might have a chat. You were asking right. me a couple of things in the email about a couple of things that you didn't want to bring up with um, Jim and Tony. Mm -hmm. You were one was about the fear. Why would there be fear? Right. And then you had other things. Can you remember what you were 
ask me that. Well, the other one was about how how can it be that people like um, uh, Giselle can say that uh, she misses, in some way she misses um, anticipating the future uh, because there is no anticipation of the future because there's no future anymore. And, and I've heard Tony and uh, others talk about the fact that after this non-event doesn't happen, there is this like residue of self that takes a while to dissipate. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, if there isn't a self, how can there be a residue of it that takes a while to dissipate? How can there be, if there's no self in Giselle, how can she, she want to how can she miss uh, anticipating some interesting f upcoming event? Just what do you think is that? that? What's your answer to that? Um, I don't know that I have an answer. I mean, I, I there you could develop a theory that there is this, um, and it's a story that, that there is this character. Tony talks about the character that is Tony that continues to have preferences. He uses that term preferences. Um, and that um, that's conditioned in the apparent Tony. And so that will continue. So maybe in Giselle, there was a preference for getting excited about something coming up and maybe over time that will disappear uh, but as I say, the whole thing, the idea that there is a character that is somehow connected and, you know, Richard Sylvester talks about the fact that there is no space or time, but there is this sense of location that comes back after a while. I mean, I can't make sense out of any of that, but... Well, I mean, maybe it's like you'd recognize, well, that's a bit of a story, not to be just what you were saying about location and all of those, like, I mean, there's already no location apart from, let's tell, let's, let's all agree that this is a real country and a real place and a real time. Let's all definitely agree with that. And let's make sure we tell all the kids that you're definitely yeah. there and that this is real and everything's real. And just in case you have doubts, I definitely know what I'm talking about. And, you know, so um, I think like whatever Giselle Giselle said is what she said, which is awfully boring as an answer <laughs> to the mind. But what she said is what she said. And, um, but there isn't Giselle, there isn't a Giselle who gets liberated right there isn't a giselle already like so what's happening is the description appearing in total fucking free fall total emptiness already so that's all that is as far as i'm concerned I and mean, somebody else might be able to give you a better one and i mean you could say that in emptiness there's no place for a me and but already there is no if there is no me all that that is is sounds and words playing out and again i even when, as soon as I say that, I go, oh, is that, that's not necessarily true, Frank. And no, it's not, but what can you do? So, and that sounds, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, yeah. Yeah, but I can totally understand why you would see, because in your understanding, it should be all bliss and peace and wonder. <laughs> and it should yeah. be all aliveness and excitement and all that. But, um, oh, but uh, um, I was a no. laughing, I was laughing at myself when Giselle started talking about the turbulence in the airplane. And I was yeah. saying to myself, oh my God, there's no Giselle left. And yet there's, there's still fear about turbulence about airplanes. That can't be right. She must, she must, be, she must be mistaken about that. Well, you see, it's that's so it, funny. It, that's, but it's amazing though. It is absolutely true because when there is, a control, when there is an apparent controller, and I, I used to hate the word apparent, but when there's an apparent controller, then that def controller would definitely never feel fear like, would be able to push it away Right. Push it right over there and be <laughs> all at one with it. But when there's nobody controlling, who knows what the fuck's going to happen? Like, who, you know, what's, there is no controller already. So then you have, 
but there's nothing that, happening. You, you, you are lost in the chaos. It's not that I, but there's I not, mean, nothing, nothing happening. appearing to happen. Not, the, right. not this, not this uh, cold, um, empty thing that the mind likes to put it in. As a, well, that's emptiness. And what, basically what emptiness, as far as the mind is concerned, is that's a, a word that's kind of grey. It's not as black as death. It's more grey and watery, but no water. That's what emptiness, as far as the mind concerned, is. But this is empty thing. This is thingless already. No thing yeah. or boundless everything. So where do you go and fit into all that? Well, somehow, it's a, 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 an apparent me, self, that we fucking agree, all agree on, is the separate suit, is the plug in the sink. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, but you know what I mean? Is that's fair to say? Like that's the mind will go for empty emptiness. It's this grey thing, and the brain, the brain goes boom, as opposed to ba boundless. Ba bound is everything T and like you know timeless is totally fucking different than um you know in in the time is infinite it's infinite no right. timeless sorry brain timeless take that away like it's gone yep. no, not not imaginary infinite fucking wonder timeless yep. you know that's a that's a smack because it's timeless so this is time less. It's in, this, this isn't time. So this is already in the free fall. This is already death, if you want to call it that. It's the same yeah. as calling it life, if you want to call it a thing and make it separate from you. And then, I, I mean, would, that's just a fuck too. Like, so what? I was laughing at myself when you used the term plug in the sink. Yeah. Because it's a brilliant metaphor. And I realized that's the way the mind works. We only get stuff by metaphor mm -hmm. and there is no metaphor for timeless there's nothing there's nothing that we can relate it to that we can kind of say aha by by analogy i get that yeah and that's that's part of the reason why this is so frustrating i think and so impossible to explain in language is because the things that we're trying to describe there is no metaphor there's no solid metaphor that we can use to say aha that's what he means well it's like i saw on bbc.co.uk this headline which was um what if the universe is endless <laughs> that's... and the brain go okay endless must be pretty long endless though timeless yeah, <gasps> yeah. No room for fucking me and endless, like no room for me and time. Where's my anchor and safe point and all of that? Like genuinely. But, but then, my like, reaction, what if my there's no universe? What if there's no endless? What if there's no? What if there's not anything? What if there's just what is and you don't get to get it? <laughs> I, I, but I love when that happens. When I read science news that says, like they've now pushed back the beginning of. Uh, every year there's another hole in the Big Bang Theory to the point where now people are starting to say, you know, the Big Bang Theory is just a theory. It's not long for this world. We've got to come up with something better. It's just so mm -hmm. full of holes. I love when I hear that. I love, and I love when um, I hear them saying, because they used to believe that North America was first peopled during the last ice age. Um, when the, the uh, the land froze over and it was possible to walk across Alaska mm. to get to the Americas. And then they discovered human artifacts that date back like 50,000 years before the last ice age. And the scientists are all up in arms about this. And their immediate reaction is, oh, they must have made a mistake in the dating. And my reaction is, yeah, yeah. let's stick it to those damn scientists who are so fucking sure about everything. And everything that comes along that pokes another hole in scientific theory is I just, rather than getting upset about it or, or worried about it, I just, I celebrate it. I love the fact that science is, scientists take themselves way too serious. They're just model builders. Um, mm -hmm. And my father used to say, you know, the purpose of science is to uh, develop models that are interesting and sometimes useful. 
that's all science does. Science doesn't describe reality. Mm -hmm. It's a, a outrageously presumptuous to think that they could ever describe reality. Well, it's a, it's an attempt for a thing to describe it, thingness. Yeah, exactly. To make everything into thingness. Mm. Yeah. And we can never understand. We can never know. There is something intuitive in me that knew that from a very young age. We mm. cannot know. This is all a mystery. And every attempt to model it and to say this is the way things are, it's just a it's just a story. It's just a model that may be useful and is sometimes interesting, but it's not true. But yeah, I think everybody's going around with this. Oh, like it, it, it's if there's a few sentences being said, okay, that's real and it's true. Okay. So even like, let's just say, even something like non-duality go, well, non-duality in the brain will go, well, non-duality is real. I mean, okay, I'd accept that yeah. everything else is yeah. not real, but I mean, there is liberation though. I know what you're saying, but there is loss of self because if I look around, I can see, right. I can validate, and I can find a few speakers out there. And it's definitely yeah. confirmation bias, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's definitely real. So then, it's, then that happens, but it's all the while, it's a, a, a thing. But somehow, like, somehow, when you know you hear this is always known, it's always actually in the unknowing. It's always yeah. in. Are you, are you are you fucking kidding me that you're all just that this is all pretending? Are you that you didn't know what you were saying? No, didn't. No, you know the way I was up there in the pulpit and I was telling you all about Jesus and fucking God and everybody. You know the way I was telling you all about that. Just heard that in the book back somewhere. I really have no idea um, what I'm saying. Yeah. And and so then like what? So then the final chapter in the seeking game is like when you've given up on the idea of the success and spiritual enlightenment and the peace and the bliss it's okay well i get to die into emptiness and i get to be i still get to be <laughs> the no thing and yeah. that's the, the mind is unbelievably amazing i want to know what it's like to be no thing there's just no room though and but then already that's the game of everything losing itself to find itself only to discover that it can never find and it was never lost it's yep. magical and it's so horrendous at the same time it's just the yeah to me it's just magical it's just wonderful i don't that's why i'm so intrigued by jim's and tim's story about the horror and how ghastly it was and stuff like that because to me it's just magical it's just it's um uh, it's the fact that there was something in me that always that for this this was always obvious and i'll never understand it but anything that even hints at or points at it is just like yeah yeah that's that's not it but wow it, that's fun that's interesting it's a it's a it's an amusing way to point at it. Um, so when I, we talked at the very, very start, and I said, um, do, you, uh, do you know what this is? And then I think you told me about, um, start talking about astrophysicists. But do you know what this is? You're asking me? I'm asking you, do you know what this is? No, it can't be known. No, no, no. I'm asking you, do you know what what's happening is? Do you know what this is? No. Do you think anybody does know what this is? Um, there is no one to know this. No, no, no. Do you think that anybody out there knows what this is? I can't answer that question because there isn't anybody. Mm. Sorry if that's an unsatisfactory answer. But. I think that's a fucking stunning answer.
End of story. <laughs> no, there's no end to this story, but close as we can. End of story. End of story is story rebooting. It's amazing. Yep. Hi, if you like the conversation that I just had and you'd like more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.